COVID-19 is a threat, a disruptor, and a catalyst that is reshaping the industry's commercial security and safety trends around us. It's put shipping in a timeout situation. The whole industry is learning and adapting to this new reality on the fly, devising new methods of working virtually and remotely in real time. Keeping pace with operational changes in our clients' needs in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic is rewriting the rules for all of us. What is clear is that nothing is going to be the same again, and we all collectively have to face a new normal. COVID-19 is not going away, and a new risk environment will endure. The pandemic has highlighted digital's role in driving tomorrow's safety outcomes. The uses of technology in response to COVID-19 contain powerful lessons on digital's potential to drive safety improvement across all levels of an industrial operation, acting as an acid test on a comparatively macro scale of a vessel to the, the micro scale of a vessel to the macro scale of a global shipping operation. In this web panel, we're going to discuss some of, some of the pressing issues facing our industry and we'll work towards identifying the difficult decisions that will need to be made in the future. Uh, let me begin by saying that uh, my uh, thoughts and heart goes to the seafarers uh, who are the real heroes, the real unsung heroes uh, of this crisis, honestly, because uh, many of them, you know, across ports all over the world, they spend more than two to three months on duties and they get stuck, unfortunately, and they had to. Uh, you know, extend their call of duty, uh, which also puts a burden not only psychologically on them uh, with their mental health and even their physical being, but also on their own families and their loved ones. In addition to that, it also puts a lot of pressure financially on the ship owners in that they would have to pay 25% or depending on the agreement that they had. COVID-19 is, is a terrible disruptor, I would say that. Uh, but the only thing is we need to be thankful that it has happened at a time when we have what we are doing right now. We have internet and we, we have all these meetings we can carry out. Mm. Uh, and challenges that you, you said we, we face in the organization today is you got to get uh, tech savvy sooner than later. Uh, we have to relook re at our uh, resource requirements especially when the revenues are hurting. Having said that, these should not be short-term decisions because when the markets get better, when the, see, it's question of when COVID will go away. It's not if, it has to go away. Then you would like to have people, the right people working for you and working with you. Shipping is a people's business. You need to have the right people working for you. So I fully agree with you that the talent has to be maintained they have to understand that these are difficult times. If there are some sacrifices which have to be made from both sides, I think that needs to be done. What we have been, uh, our strategy in the last few years was to uh, heavily depend on technology and to automate most of the uh, services that would provide better efficiency and productivity to our customers. Uh, that's why for us being the gateway and the uh, main service provider for cargo entry to the entire UAE and serving the entire region, we would not uh, see such uh, downsizing or staff cutting because uh, for us, we have been uh, honestly taking extra measures to protect our people and provide uh, extra support during these difficult times to help them uh, focus on the productivity and ensuring the efficiency of our operation all the time. You know that uh, for us, uh, if we have any interruption within the uh, port or terminal services, that might impact the entire region. Mm -hmm. Jabal Ali is being the uh, hub for not only the UAE, but for the entire region and connecting the cargo from a different part of the world through us was something that uh, had uh, make us to focus on uh, protecting our people, uh, uh, providing training and keep these talents working on all the time with safe environment. Uh, even having said that, it will have an impact to be uh, frankly speaking on, on different ways. Uh, recruiting new people, uh, looking for uh, additional resources, 
is something that, of course, organizations will be very careful to take any action with this type of uh, uh, circumstances. We'd rather to focus on our existing employees, uh, try to uh, improve their productivity and make sure that they are all uh, working within the objective of this organization. Our younger generation, we're, we're talking uh, now not of my generation. I am a millennial and I am already old. So we're now talking about the Gen uh, Z. Or, um, now, these, this is one generation which has never known life without the internet. So they were born with it. So uh, for them, they have been quite choosy. However, they, they did not have as many options before. But now, with the impact of the pandemic, more and more employers are recognizing the uh, what, what would have been otherwise considered uh, um, the entitled demands of this generation. So they are recognizing those to be efficient and effective work or business practices. So yes, uh, they would be cho uh, they would go on to choose employers who are more aligned with the way that they are used to working and what they are uh, what they are good at. But they would also be spoiled for choice.